Something guys. So match preview for tomorrow afternoon's game. Leicester City versus Arsenal at the King Power Stadium. Now, this is another must win game like every other game. And to be fair, I'm going into this one confident enough to say that Arsenal are going to see this out. Now, Leicester haven't been the greatest of teams all this season. Defensively, they've been very poor. But they do score goals at the same time. So, let me get it started. Let me get, get into it. So, we have Leicester City. Yeah, a four-game unbeaten run came to an erupt halt. Leicester City fell to a comprehensive 3-0 defeat to Manchester United last time out. Right? So... You know, Leicester City were on a little bit of form until they faced Man United. So, this game, they'll be going into it possibly losing two on a bounce. So, that's pressure for a team that's, you know, on that receiving end. That, you know, Leicester, for example. Um, but he's whizzing through. Obviously, players to watch. Jamie Vardy, you know, of course, you know, he, he does, he is pretty much, sometimes it can be the, the white version of Didier Drogba when it comes to Arsenal. You know what, you know what I mean? Well, Leicester haven't won any of their last 18 top flight games against league leading sides, drawn two and lost 16. You know what I mean? So you look at that and you think, well, we're in a hot seat. You know what I mean? We're, we're, on, we're on a hot seat for beating Leicester. You know what I mean? Bayako Saka, who is on the brink of his 50th Premier League goal involvement for the club at just 21 years old. Goals 26, assists 23. So we look at players that are um, going to be missing and questionable, as you can see here. You know, obviously El Nen is going to be out for a while. Jesus is still out. Partey is questionable. Now, you know, we won our last game without any Partey involvement, right? And to be fair, Jorginho, you know, he's the reason why we, we got away with three points at Villa Park. Had it not been for his shot, the game would have ended 2-2. You know what I mean? It ended up being a 4-2 game. But I'm just hoping that if Partey is not playing this game, that Jorginho still continues, you know, what he's trying to do for the club because he's, he's a decent passer, right? And everything like that, but he's, he's just not quick. He's not he's not sharp. You know what I mean? And him and Granite Xhaka in the midfield, it's just, it's, it's a combination that's, you know what I mean? It's a combination. It's a worrying combination. Now, you look at the last matches of Leicester. Obviously, they lost 3-0 to Man U. The smoke Tottenham, the smoke Villa. You know, the beat Walsall in the Cup and the Drew to Brighton. Last five matches for Arsenal, interesting. We beat Aston Villa, got smoked by City, drew against Brentford, lost at Everton, lost at Man City in the Cup. I mean, so, like, you look at Arsenal's form, like, in, this fe in February up until the 18th, you've got three losses and a draw. Then you go before that, it's just wins, draw, wins, and then obviously the losses that you see there, two of them are friendlies, and then you've got Brighton in the Cup, the, another competition that we disrespected, uh, and then Europa League, and it's just wins, then Manu lost, then wins from the start of the season. Obviously, we beat Leicester 4-2 last time out. So we know, we know that um, Leicester are prone to conceding goals, but they do score goals as well. Now, head-to-head -head matches against Leicester. Obviously, the last game, we beat him 4-2. Um, beat him 2-0 before that. Beat him 2-0 before that. Beat him 3-1 before that. Leicester haven't beaten us since 2020. And that was at the Emirates. Um. So, yeah, Leicester, Leicester don't really... I mean, in inside 2019, they beat us twice. But that was off separate seasons because we were both away, um, both at Leicester. But otherwise, Leicester aren't a team to do a double over Arsenal or anything like that. So I, I don't really think that there's... Personally, I don't think there's really too much to worry about with Leicester. Look at the standings. Obviously, we're um, 
two points clear of Manchester City with a game in hand. And our game in hand is next week against Everton, which we better win because that, that is the big one. Leicester City are on 24 points. So we're 30 points ahead of Leicester City. That's the gap between us. You know what I mean? So you, you, you think if you're 30 points ahead of a team, you just think by definition, we're going to, we're going to beat you and we're going to complete the double over you. But you never know. You just never know. You never know. But um, what, what am I going to expect from this game? I'm going to expect, well, no, instead of what I'm going to expect, I'm going to go with what I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that um, Eddie Nketiah is dropped. I want to see Martinelli or Trossard in the middle being a striker. That's what I want to see. I want to see how that pans out. If, if dropping Ketia for a few games, right, he might come back and he might start knowing how to be a striker again. You know what I mean? That's what I say. But I know what Arteta's going to do. He's going to keep playing him. He's going to keep playing him. He's going to keep playing him. It doesn't matter that Nketiah is not scoring at the moment. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? He's, he, 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 that, that doesn't matter. Let me just check. Um, How many goals has actually scored in the league? I'm sure it's four. I'm sure he's scored about four goals in the league. Two against Man United. If we just talk about the league, because... Yeah, so he didn't get his first league goal this season until West Ham. And then he scored against Brighton. And then two against Man U. Yeah, four goals. He's only got four goals um, so far this season. I mean, he's got, got two in the FA Cup, one in the League Cup. So that's seven goals altogether. Um... Nine goals, if you include in Europa, include the Europa League. He's got nine goals this season, four of them in the Premier League. I mean, four goals in the Premier League is not good enough. He sat top of the table. Come on now, you look at the games. You look at the games where we drop points: Everton, Man City, Brentford. Could have done with some goals from him. You know, it's 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 one end minute. But yeah, tomorrow, three o'clock, Arsenal and Leicester go head to head. So hopefully when I make this match reaction, it's gonna be that we've beaten Leicester. Now my score prediction is three one Arsenal. That's what I'm going with. I think I I do think that we'll beat Leicester. <laughs> I'll be very annoyed if we don't. I'll be a bit surprised if we don't. That's not meaning to say that Leicester are a pushover, but I just Leicester just aren't it this season. They're just not. You know what I mean? And I don't consider them really much of a threat. I mean, I know we're going to their ground, but I just I just don't. I just don't see Leicester like that. Not this season. But we'll see anyways. Anyways, like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe, follow all the socials, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be the match reaction. If not, then I'll see you in the next video. Peace.